Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the first session of a series. Um, many of you, of you will met, have met Paul a few weeks ago in the shaft comparison. In this series, you're going to track Paul's progress in his quest to get down to single figures. We're going to start today by playing a few holes to assess Paul's strengths and weaknesses, and then we'll put a plan in place for the next few weeks. Enjoy the ride, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun, and wish Paul good luck. Yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Great. Hopefully we can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we are on the 14th hole at Bolton Golf Club. Uh, the hole length is playing at 160 yards to the centre of the flag. Okay, great. So, is it so for me, it's slightly uphill. Yeah. So I tend to use a five iron. Yeah. And a five iron, if I hit it nice, it will land on the green. So one, 160 would be your five iron club? Um, it would be normally maybe six iron club. Okay. But playing on this hole, I yeah. tend to need to use a five iron to get. Playing sort of five, up, ten yards uphill. Uphill, yeah. yeah. And as we know. And I think, yeah. Uh, as we know on this hole, all the trouble's short, isn't it? It is, so yeah. So actually being a bit on that conservative side, going a bit long, is not the end of the it's world. It's not, no. <laughs> and, and as we can see on this hole, that flag is tucked over the bunker, isn't it? So. Well, I played this yesterday and he actually managed to tuck it in between the two bunkers. Yeah. And luckily it landed on the green and I got a par on it. Oh, but perfect. playing it safe, I should be aiming to the yeah. left. Yeah. So uh, yeah. today I'm going to aim just left of the bunkers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As we look at it there, yes. And if I duff the shot, it's still <laughs> going to be short, but I'm not chipping over the bunker. True. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sounds like you know what you're talking about, Paul. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it, though. <laughs> well, it's got a bit right, but I think it might. Okay. So. Punishment. Well. The, the theory was there, it but was. clearly, you know, Club face a bit open, short side ourselves yeah, in the bunker. Yeah, yeah. So let's. Uh, I struck it well. Yeah, just the club face yeah. was open, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's let's uh, let's see if we can get to this bunker in one. Let's do it. So, something for the viewers here, guys. You can obviously see quite right. a steep face. Okay, so difficult yeah. shot. Mm. We've got a sand wedge here. Many of you might carry lob wedges, but Paul, you've got a sand wedge here, sand wedge, yeah. which should be enough. Because mm. this uh, is quite a steep bunker for me. Yeah. It's like yeah. My head height is with the green. Yeah, tough shot. So but talk me through what you're trying to do from a technique point of view. Well, obviously, open stance. I need to open my club face really wide, I think. Yeah. To make sure I do get that height. Mm -hmm. uh, I might be wrong, but I feel like you should put your weight on your left foot. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and lean good. forward. Yeah, you got it. And really, I'm just hitting at it two inch before the ball. And re is it like more like hit and hope? <laughs> it's a hope, it's not a hope, but yeah, you're right, you know, you were looking yeah. for about two inches behind it. Because I'm scared of hitting it too hard and it flying through the green, and I'm scared of hitting it too soft and hitting the lip on the top and rolling back in. Yeah, I so think it's, with, with that club face that. being so open, you, you've got to be positive with it, especially with, I the, think so, with, yeah. with the height of the, the bunker. As long as we hit the sand, yeah, yeah. It, it's not going to travel that far, but it's going to pop up and hopefully... But worst thing that can happen is rolling back in, and yeah. I'm playing the same shot again. It's just a wasted shot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's like a handicap destroyer, yeah. isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back to right. So, world. so exactly what you said there. Commit to the shot. Yeah. Whoa, that's oh, fantastic. That's impressive. That. That's a great shot. Exactly what you said you were going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Well, the technique yeah. was good. Yeah. Um, you committed to it, you hit the sand. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, we're going to have a. You can't a good, see it, can you? But it looks. We're going to have a good look at par there. Look good, yeah. Good shot. Okay, so as we're walking up to the green here, this has turned out a lot better than we'd expected. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the best, better bunker shots I've ever, ever played. Yeah, well done. Great shot. Yeah. Let's see if we can tap it in for but par. But I'm sure it's a bit, a bit of luck as well. Certainly yeah. playing from such a difficult. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, I, as you say, position. I think. I think we're almost looking just to get it out. The fact that That's it's right, yeah. gone to what mm. three feet, we're, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we should hopefully be able to tap that in for par. Do you like the flag in or out? I normally leave it in. Leave it in. Okay. Yeah. So first thing I would always obviously stand behind the ball. Yeah. If you are in doubt, sometimes looking from behind the hole helps as well. Right. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Again, as a general rule for, for again for anyone watching here. Always look at the highest point of the green and then the lowest point of the green. So right, here, yeah. 
this definitely slopes from probably this top side yeah, yeah. down to the bottom. So in general, aside from the subtleties within the green, yeah, yeah. it's going to move this way. So right, yeah, yeah. the good thing here, you've left yourself straight up the hill. Uphill, which yeah. is generally easier. Yeah, it, it, it is, yeah. yeah. I've found like looking from the side as well sometimes yeah. help me yeah. even to work out whether it's going to roll to the left or right. Yeah. Like getting a side. I think looking from two view. or three different angles can only yeah. help, yeah. But quite often really, if in a, on a putt like this where it's yeah. pretty clear that it's a straight putt, yeah. I think it's just a case of, you know, trust your natural yeah, instinct yeah. and commit to it. Because still, yeah, my general game, my putting's probably what the worst bit of my game. Okay. And that, I've probably got 50% chance of that going in, okay. even though it's such a short putt. Yeah. Well, that's where hopefully we can uh, increase. Yeah, save that some shots. So I'm going to try and push it through. Somebody said, like, push it as if it's back of your hand. Yeah. Whoa, well, that well was done. only just. Good three, but yeah. Caught that left, left side. Yeah. yeah. Well mm -hmm. done, though. Good three. Yeah, Good save. Yep. Okay, guys, so we are fresh after the sand save on 14 there from Paul. That was an unlikely up and down, so yeah, yeah. well done there, pal. We've had a, a short break. We're, uh, we're used to this weather in Bolton. Uh, we had a heavy downpour, so now we're back out on the 17th, uh, par four. Um, so how do you see this hole, Paul? Um, well, looking at it, basically, it's a, a reasonably wide fairway, and I think I just need to aim central and see how it goes. Yeah, I've got my ball teed up ready. Yeah, I, th I think I think it is driver definitely. Yeah. One thing that would help you on this hole mm. would be to tee up more to the right hand side of the of the tee, just to open up that that, that hole a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, makes sense. You can yeah. see here that those trees kind of come into play. As yeah. soon as you shift the ball more more to the right, that's definitely going to help. Yeah, yeah. I'll, okay, yeah, I'll move that across. So, Aiming central. Yeah, central even, you know, maybe left off centre is, is not bad yeah, here as well. Yeah, I suppose it's going to... It can yeah, down, down. Bit, yeah. Well, they say if you're going to miss, miss Big Paul. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's nearly out of bounds on the uh, <laughs> on the 18th. Isn't yeah, it? that was a long way right. But again, yeah. part of today really is for me to understand yeah. your bad shots. That's so right. yes, yeah. push slice, not ideal. Yeah. In this case, it's worked out okay, but clearly it's something we need to work on. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I could feel straight away when I was when I was swinging through. I just didn't. Yeah. I didn't turn through it. Yeah. Left that face open. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's play it anyway. Well, that was a a bit of a disappointing shot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Good job, it's a forgiving hole. We've got away with it, yeah. There's a lot of room. We're actually now on the on the 18th fairway looking over and it's actually not a bad line in. Um we've got 176 to the middle, Paul, is that right? Mm -hmm. you? Yeah, about 176. About 176 to the middle. Yeah. This particular hole you need to get the carry. Now one thing that is important is you've got the bunker short, so we need to hit a club that's going to carry that bunker. So I couldn't okay. really use a four hybrid. Because that's what I'd use if it was if them trees weren't there. I'd use a four hybrid. Yeah. How, how far does your four hybrid go normally? About oh. 180. 180. And if I hit a five wood, it can go 195. Yeah. Well, as much as we don't want to go short here, yeah. we definitely don't want to go long. Long is danger. Oh, yeah. Lost ball. So yeah. short would be the better option and that's where we always have to consider Cause that. Because really for my distance, 170 plus, I'm probably talking a 5 iron, but obviously that's low. Yeah, I I think we should go 5 iron, I think you've got enough to get over the trees. Yeah, I think yeah. 4 hybrid might be too much, especially with the wind helping us a little bit here. I think, if, personally, I think a 5 iron might just clip the leaves and okay. it might drop, well, but I think we should try it. Okay, let's do it. You're the professional. Yeah, and again, this is with this being the first session here, we're really looking at how you see it, Paul, and, and how I see it, and hopefully we, we start to see some... Well, I just think it's a difficult shot, whatever. It is a tough shot. Yeah. Let's go 5-iron. Five 5-iron. Five let's, let's see where it takes yep. us. Pointing right direction. Again, ball slightly below the feet here. Only marginal, but it is below the feet, so there's a tendency that it's going to go right. right. So just having that confidence to aim... Slightly left of the flag, which means yep. taking it over the tree line. Yep. 
Well, that's actually quite amazing. That is a great strike. Fantastic. I think you've just found the front edge there. Great shot. Surprise yourself. I'm just a bit speechless. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah, thanks. Went higher than you expected, anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With quite a bit of height on that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was good. Five Again, although it was below your feet, it's uphill a bit as well, so that's going to encourage you to hit ah, it a bit true. higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good shot. That was a good recovery yeah. shot. Yeah, well done. Okay, so just to give you an idea there, this is the hole we're playing. Paul sliced it over onto the seven, onto the 18th there, and he's hit over these trees, over the bunker, and he's just found the front edge of the green there. So still a lot to do, but a really good five iron into the green. Well, even though that was, uh, yeah, a good recovery shot, I think I've still got, yeah, quite a bit of work to do here. Yeah, a lot of work to do, and again, even just walking up here, it does highlight how important it is getting your club in, because if we'd have hit that four hybrid, you can see oh, beyond yeah. there is danger. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's potentially a lost ball down there. So yeah. still a lot of work to do, well, but it's great. If shot. I had just four hybrid, there's probably a good chance it might have gone through. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And again, so, even yeah. just walking up here, we can get the sensation of how far this putt is. You know, what's this? Forty feet plus, maybe even fifty feet. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So really, to get down in two would be. Uh, and it's there's quite a bit of a uh, curvature on the grass, isn't there? Yes, there is. Um, and, it, and it's it's definitely uphill. I think you know, you look at the the high point oh, yeah. at the top. We're pretty much stood at the low point. It's it's definitely uphill. So pace is the big thing. I'd say it's quite a straight putt. Yeah. I would agree, you know, looking back here, there's there's not a lot in it in terms of, you know. So I just need to, yeah, aim straight and just try and get my distance. Get the pace, yeah. Have a few practice puts, and this is one thing we'll work on, is your routine. You tell me what you think about the speed I'm pushing the putter through. Bit harder, I'd say. Bit hard? A bit harder. Oh, harder. Yeah, that's it, that's good. Again, keep looking at the hole, keep trying to get a feel of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get that close. I think you helped me to get the distance right then. Yeah, pace was really good I was going Because I was going to hit it less than that, Weird. so you said, no, a bit more, a bit yeah. more. So, so I just duplicated what you told me. Good, yeah, and again, yeah, yeah. we've just had a downpour, haven't we? So the greens are a little bit yeah, slower, yeah. and it was mm. uphill. Um, so just... But yeah, just, just the line was off, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was a good putt. Not far off. No. Okay. Right. I'll just have a quick look at it. So how does that look in terms of it's just, uh, direction? Can you see any, any break on that one? No, there's no break. So this is like a th four foot putt really, isn't it? Four foot. Yeah, and that is dead straight, isn't it? It so is, yeah. Focus on your alignment. It's straight to the... Crush your stroke. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Good good four. That's yeah, yeah. An amazing par. Yeah, well done. From that first fantastic. Yeah, I mean yeah, first shot. I think we got away with a tee shot, but yeah. we took advantage of it. But if I was playing without your help today, I probably would have put it to more like here. Yeah, okay. And then I would have put it again. Yeah. Missed it and then I would have tapped it in. So it would have been a three putt if, yeah. if you didn't give me the good yeah. The good advice. You're welcome. Okay, so Paul, you've you've come off back to back pars there. I think the viewers are gonna think we're gonna be kidding saying you're off sixteen handicap. Yeah, yeah. Or, or is yeah. it luck? <laughs> uh, bit bit of luck, bit of I suppose. Bit of skill as well. I think well, I think it's your help as well. Yeah, you, you played fourteen well, that was a good up and down. Yeah. And there we had a bit of fortune for, fortune off the tee, but you recovered well. Yeah, so that yeah. was another good par. Yeah. However, the eighteenth here at Bolton mm. we know is a difficult it finishing is very hole. Difficult. Yeah. Um, just over four hundred yards, it's playing into the wind. We've got out of bounds all at the, the left, left. Which I know about because yeah. I've done that plenty of times. Yeah. And the big the big issue as well is the ravine. So that you've got the ravine around about two hundred yards. Yeah. So we need to hit That's a club. Why I'm not too sure which club to use. Yeah, I mean how how far does your driver go? No wind. Probably averaging. About 220 yards 220 right okay and, and we're into the wind here and it's uphill so if I play this and hit it well I think I might be just on the edge of dropping down the ditch okay in trouble why don't we go well, with three just, wood then that's just safer again you think about you know your handicap 16 yeah on here we could almost treat this like a par five you know mm. actually, and, and actually take out the big number so 
the driver, if you get hold of it, and equally if you get it turning over, yeah. it brings in the out of bounds. Let's play a three with off the tee. Yeah. Let's aim up the right half of the of the fairway yeah, towards the clubhouse. Yeah, to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think what's important here when you're playing into the wind is to keep a nice smooth tempo as well. I think there's yeah. sometimes a temptation to force it. Keep yeah, it smooth yeah. and right. uh, trust the club. Well, on the last last hole, I didn't uh, turn my body didn't through, rotate did I? through, yeah, and that's why it went right. Yeah. Okay, let's see you hit it on the uh, on the clock on the clubhouse there, right, just up, yeah. the, up the right half of the fairway. It does feel quite breezy. It is, yeah, and that's where you need to keep your nice smooth tempo. Right, yeah. Great strike. That's nice, that. Yeah, you've, you've, that's a really good hit. But it's kicked a little yeah, bit to the right, so it might be in the trees a bit. A little bit unlucky, but, you know, let's let's see where it is. Yeah. Um, and then we can... Because I think... I was aiming more down the centre of the yeah. fairway, and it has gone a bit right, but... And again, that's one thing that I'm logging, you know. You think about the 14th, you missed it right. Yeah. 17 you missed it right and here you've missed it slightly right so that's slightly, building yeah. up a bit of a pattern for what we're going to be working on in the lessons yeah okay right so my cost caddy is saying it's 230 yeah. yards to the pin yeah so clearly out of reach for, to reach for two shots but, but i've decided to take a three wood to try and keep it low to the wind and generally eat it reasonably well okay off the fairway okay great let's but that's sat down slightly yeah, I, well, I mean, I think we're, I just have to ignore we're, that. we're sort of just in that first cut here, but I think you'll be okay with three wood here. Yeah, you. A, a if nice you hit it bad, I think it'll probably, hopefully, go to the fairway. Okay, closer. Okay, let's see it. Well. Okay, looks like we've got some tree trouble there, Paul. We have, yeah. And maybe I, st I struck it really well, and that's where I aimed. But I was thinking because it was, but ball above, hill, yeah. I thought it might have come round, but yeah. And I, and it may be something that as we explore over time, yeah, we look at potentially hitting a hybrid and then a wedge on. I know you're comfortable with a three yeah, wood, yeah. But we'll we'll look at it over time. But let's go and see if we can get out the trees and uh, salvage mm, a five. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, we can find it. <laughs> okay, Paul. So the the golfing gods are with you today. Um, yeah, yeah. You've you've got a gap, um, so really it's just a quite a an easy shot for me in a way. Yeah. Low loft, I'd say about nine iron. Nine iron. Flat, yeah. Yeah. We don't want to want too much height because we want to keep it under the trees. Yeah. Maybe even eight iron. I want to not. Mm, I probably still would have used. I might have used a five iron. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't necessarily need to go that low because no. you, you want to get a little bit of height to, to carry the. So if I use it, I'll, I'll go with a nine iron. Yeah. And basically try and land it. That's three it. meters before the green. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And I'll play it from the back of my stance. Yeah. Back, back of the stance. Low, punch it low. Back of the stance. Hands forward. Hands forward. I'm just getting a feel that sort of a little bit harder. A bit harder. That's it. Like that. That's it. Perfect. Oh, I nearly hit that tree. Just hung on. Pulled it quite a bit, but we've, we've hung on I'm there. I'm lucky I didn't go in the bunker, really. Yeah, yeah mm. the, the rust helped you out there. OK, Paul, so you're just on the edge of the green here. Yeah. I would always put it in a situation like this. Um, mm. Even though there's two cuts there. Yeah. If it was rough, I would chip it, but the fact that it's only a fairway length, I think putting's a safer option. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get down into it. I'd normally try and chip it. Okay. But, well, yeah. I'm going to try the putter because I know you've told me in the past. It's a safe It's the way people normally play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let, let's try and get it down into it. It is a so safe So looking option. at this, it's, it's a little bit downhill and I think it's going to roll to the... Slightly to the right. Slightly to the right, but yeah. not a lot. Just getting the pace again is the key thing here. So if I do the putting stroke, yep. you tell me what you think about the pace. I'll do what I think's right. Not quite, as that's too hard. Too hard. Yeah, that's better. Right. Go on then. Well done. Well, I saved a, a bogey. Yeah, it's a good five. Yeah. Tap it in. Well done.
Yeah, thanks, yeah. Good five there, Paul. Yeah, thank you. One over for three holes. Yeah. Three holes there, yeah. two pars and a bogey. I'm pretty Quite. impressed. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, you know, just to very quickly summarise, I think great sand save on 14, despite yeah. a slight push. Uh, 17, got away with it, but, you know, kind of rode mm. your luck a bit and, and actually yeah. played the hole really well. Mm. Uh, and there on the 18th, tough finishing hole, out of position, but made a good five. Mm. Can I be, I hit, on that hole, though, I hit two good shots, but obviously, well, they weren't really good shots, were they? Because they, we, we, we they got, went in the wrong direction. We got, I think it was a good tee shot. You got a little bit of luck in the trees. I you struck them well. Out. Yeah, yeah and, that's the wrong and direction. You take a five all day long there, and I think oh, yeah. to help you get down to single figures, that's the sort of stuff we need to be doing. If we mm -hmm. are out of position, making a bogey at worst is really going to yeah. help you. I do think if if you wasn't like telling me actually what what club to take, what power to put in, yeah, I certainly would have. Yeah, I wouldn't have got the same scores. Okay, no, that's good. I think. Yeah, you know, I think but if I can take that on board, yeah, and learn from it, hopefully my golf will improve. Sure. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the next few weeks, but oh, you know, the back yeah. of today, um, we're going to release another video in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, we're going to do a live lesson. Yeah. Um, we're going to get some feedback on how your your next few rounds go. We're going to do a live lesson based on yeah, on, based on, 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 on what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'll get plenty of practicing. Great. Yeah. See you next time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.